Affinity Photo can create amazing pattern designs, which can be used for gradients and overlays from Gradients, a real great source. I'll show you how to create the gradients a bit later in the video, but I'm going to show you how to create the pattern. Key thing is select all the layers here. It will not work if you just select one of the layers. You need to all be selected and then go to layer and down there to merge selected. So merge selected. So they're all merged into a single layer. So in Infinity Photo, you've now got this single layer, pixel layer, which you can then use a selection. Now I'm going to use this one, row marquee tool. So use that and you can set the height and you can click anywhere. And you can also drag up and down, but the selection, the pattern will be created from the area within that selection. So I'm just saying that those colors there, I think that looks a great one. What you can then do is you can go up here to layer and new pattern layer from selection. And you get that. If you don't like it, you think just undo and you can go and move it back. Maybe somewhere else you think, oh, maybe that's better for the colors for your pattern. Again, layer and new pattern layer from selection. And you get that. You see you've got wonderful linear design already, but you can see it's got some sh sharp edges there all the way through it, which is not ideal. What you can do, go over here to the move tool, select that, and then go to mirror. And then it will create this sort of design. Now, of course, the design you get will be different from this. And you can resize it. You can see stretched out like that. You can also stretch it like that. Also, you can go over here and squeeze it in like that. And you can see and create all kinds of unique designs very rapidly just by resizing it. And what I want is this sort of design. So I've just crunched it into near enough like a square. And now I'm squeezing it like that horizontally. And you can see now you've got lots and lots of lines. Or with that, I can now turn that also into another pattern design. So let's just go over here, again, select that one, row marquee tool. Now I'm not gonna use this, the pattern. What I need to do is go to layer and down here, because it will not work if you just try and use the selection on that. That doesn't work. It doesn't see this area. So what you can do, just go to rasterize, it's all rasterized pixel layer. Now, with this, again, make certain row marquee tool, and you can change the size, you don't have to go, but I'm going with 28. Click again, and just drag, and now all that, it's all the same, of course. So the area there that I'm gonna be using is now gonna be defined as that pattern. So layer, and again, new pattern layer from selection. And now, this design, I can resize and squeeze in even more. You don't have to do that stage, but it's just a great way of creating some even extra thin designs. Now, of course, you could squeeze the previous layer as well, but I find it easier to actually have something that's already that sort of stretched out. And you can, of course, apply effects and things to modify it slightly, so you don't have to keep as is. So you can always go to filters, maybe go for distort deform. Now, the area that will be deformed will be just here. So if you want to modify it and change it, again, what you will need to do is go to layer and then down here to rasterize. And now the whole layer's rasterized. You've got this really intense line design. And then what you can do, you can go over here, filters and maybe distort and maybe mirror or equations. Now equations is a nice one. So let's just go for equations. Could use any of these, but equations to apply a transform. And I'm gonna go for a polar one, so polar. And then I can go like there, R, and I can put asterisk times five, or maybe divided by five. And you can see it creates that, it sort of zooms in. But also you can go same here, T times five, and you can create a design like that. And also you've got extend mode, so you can go say for mirror, and then you can move it around, reposition it, so you can create some truly intense gradient designs or overlays, again, once you're happy with your design, click apply, and you've got this design. And then if you want, I'd suggest combine it maybe with other things, or maybe you just select all of these and go to layer, and again, merge selected. So they're all merged into a single layer, which you can then, of course, manipulate further. But how to create those grains initially? It's a great start point, so let's just remove that. The key thing is layer and new layer. So you've always got to have a layer. 
go over here to the gradient tool. Now you could, of course, use layer and new fill layer. That's another great way of doing it. But I quite like going with this one. So gradient and just apply a gradient like that. It's not very colorful. You could add colors by hovering over here. You can click on it and add colors, manipulate it. But what you can also do is go to there, window and swatches. So in swatches, you could go here or you could go up here. Another option, you've got swatches there and you can see you can click there or you just click here. Up to you. So once you've got this, you've got this layer. Quite often what I do, either create a new layer, that's another way of doing it. You can go that or you can do just duplicate. So it becomes a gradient. Obviously, it's still that gradient design. But again, you can manipulate this game, go to the over here to the fill tool and apply gradient. It always, unfortunately, defaults back to the black and white gradient, which is not ideal personally, but that's the way it works. And then you can click and any of the swatches, use that. And you can resize it, manipulate it, move it around and so on. Could be linear, whatever. And you've also got obviously this angular one as well. I'm just going to close that. Now I've got two layers here. You could create five or ten. And then just simply go here, go through normal, and I go with say like difference or overlay, lighten, and so on. So you can create some really extreme colourful designs and blend them together. Again, the key thing is make certain they're all one layer if you go and use that technique that I showed earlier. So again, layer, and then go down to merge related, all merged into a single layer. Again, just go over here and use row marquee. And you can just click and you can drag it down, up and down. You might decide that the colors there look great. Exactly the same as before. Now you can go over here with that selected. It needs to be selected. Then go down here to new pattern layer from selection. And you can see again, you've got that linear design. And with that linear design, just go over here, move tool and select mirror. That's a key thing, mirror. And then you can see now you've got this design. And again, you can resize it like that, or maybe go the, that way, and then create a very intense line. Now it's not a gradient. It's not a gradient. It'd be really nice if you could extract from the screen the colors to create a gradient. That feature is available in quite a few applications, unfortunately, not in Infinity. So Infinity, you all you get is this pattern design, which you can also can manipulate and you can combine it. So you've got that, go over here, layer and duplicate, and you can shift it. And then you can go over here, blend mode, and you can run through and go with difference or exclusion, divide, subtract, and so on. Whole range of different options there. And you can see as you go through them, you can maybe that one, that looks pretty nice. So you can select that and select that. That is the same as for layer and go to merge selected. So it's all merged into a single layer. That's the same as for you can define that. Just go over here and use the row marquee tool and click. And obviously it's virtually all the same. I mean, obviously slight variations here. And then go again layer and down here to new pattern layer from selection. Select that. And now you've got your pattern layer, which you can then set the move tool and you can manipulate further, move around, maybe rotate it. So let's just rotate it. So you can see you can create lovely diagonal designs with that. And again, you can still just go to layer and duplicate and then maybe rotate it. Maybe rotate it and hold down the shift so you can make it 45 degrees. And then go over here, normal. And you can see then if you run through, you've got different designs like that. And again, if you do it properly with 45 degrees in both cases, then it will end up being a much better grid than that. You can see, you can create, obviously, just rotate it, create all kinds of different designs. Obviously, I just didn't get that first one, particularly at 45. See there, rotate it again. And you can see, maybe like that. But it's a great way of creating all kinds of unique designs that are also obviously a patch like design as well, which of course you can again select all these and then layer and merge selected. So you've got that design, which of course you can then manipulate further with filters, maybe distort, deform, twirl, and other effects like that. Hope you found this of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below.
like or dislike, always appreciated. Bye.